All right, burning part two. Uh, created another head fire down here, just so you can see the difference. There's another fire out there that will uh, serve as a backing fire once the wind changes back to its normal direction. But this is doing very well, working as intended. The biggest chunk I have to really watch is just the bottom and uh, all this ash it's sending up will help fertilize the field and the food plot and of course all the ash it's laying here uh, whatever remains will be tilled up and put back in the soil that'll be my slow release process right there the rest of this is instant release a lot more material to burn here than in any other year so this fire is on average three or four times larger than any of the previous fires that I've had. Well, that's getting some height on it. This one down here is fluctuating between a head fire and a backing fire. Uh, as of right now, it is turning into a head fire. So that should pick up a lot of momentum and get really hot. This one over here is a head fire. And it should burn a nice horseshoe out once, it's, once I'm all said and done with it. The road is my boundary. That's why I brought my other tool with me right there, especially down here because I do not have a boundary. So make sure that you put boundaries out uh, if you're new at this or at least have proper equipment and be prepared to put out any fire that tries to run out. Say it's burning 85, 90% of this. That's one thing about a head fire. It will move faster than a backing fire and tends to leave more debris behind. This one over here is acting more like a backing fire. Uh, before I started the video, there were flames probably about 10 feet tall coming out of there. But it's, uh, it's burned a lot more material from the looks of it here. Yeah, I'd say that's every bit of 90 plus percent. You can see there's fewer stalks laying on the ground because this is a backing fire. So the flame heat continues to stay over these stalks as the main fuel is on this side. So therefore I get a much better, more consistent burn out of the place versus a head fire. Again, I'm not concerned at all about this part getting out, even though this is intense heat with four to five foot tall flames coming out of it. Now you see a full effect of a head fire. Wind has caught it right, and now it's pushing the fire across the fuel, heating it up way more than the backing fire down there. I'm starting to feel quite a bit of heat here. I may have to back up if it gets much hotter than this. Whew. Yeah, let's back up a little. This will stimulate whatever seed bed survives to grow. And uh, the bare dirt issue will go away pretty soon. And then I can come in uh, sometime in April or late this month, depending on the weather, and start prepping for my spring planting. Man, that heat. 
uh, always try to stay out of the smoke if you can. I know it tries to follow you around a lot. You need as much energy in your body as possible just in case you need to fight a fire. So try to stay on the fresh, clean oxygen side. This fire now went from a head fire to a backing fire. That will transfer to a head fire now. So this side over here to my left is going to get really hot. That is now a hot backing fire. Uh, I just will have to watch the road to make sure it doesn't jump out. So let's head over here and keep watch on it. Actually, to avoid walking through all this smoke, let's go down here. That's better. Practice what I preach. A lot of material down here. This, If this had been a head fire, probably about 12 foot tall flames would have been roaring out of here. Road is doing a good job of keeping the fire at bay. Can easily stamp out whatever flames are there. But I am putting a lot of material here back in the soil. A lot of material. This is by far the biggest record of material that I have ever burned in here. Uh, this place should escalate in its soil improvement process because of this. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is save uh, another video for part three when I do the upper end. I'm going to do a different tactic than what I'm doing here just because there is two places that could get out of hand and I want to conquer each one one at a time so that way I can focus everything on one side instead of running back and forth. All right, everyone, I'm going to stop this video. Again, I'm making this ground better than before. I still have uh, some leftover stalks that are smoldering embers are completely out now. And that will be my tillage for the spring to help uh, slowly feed my new wall that comes in this year. So next year, I should have even more material to burn. All right, here we go.